on Phil Ivy on the button. Cool. Makes the call. Round to Ike. Look at this. Phil Ivy has flat called the button with Ace King of Hearts. Very interesting play by Ivy here. Very deceptive. Uh, two reasons he may be doing that. First of all, he may be trapping Doug Polk. Second of all, he may be trapping the blinds, Scott and uh, Isaac. They're both relatively short stacked. If they make a move here, he will call them with the Ace King, believing to have the best hand. There's the famous Ivy stare, but Ike Haxton is not looking at Phil Ivy. He's pondering a big decision here. Could be a really bad time to squeeze. I love this play by Phil on, you know, at, on a table where every player. There you go. Oh wow! Aggressive players. He knows what they're capable oh, of. Oh, but Ike has him dominated. So he's got kings. You would imagine that Phil Ivy. Well, he's he's asked the question. So he may have expected the move, but he hasn't immediately called. He's not expecting king king there in that spot. Let me tell you. Twenty-four, I think. That's just bad luck. Now, I mean, I can't see how Phil is ever folding in this spot. He's called for that reason, and he got what he wanted. <laughs> Phil oh. Ivy making a sound. He doesn't make this, many sounds, does he? Now, this is pure instinct now what he's going off. His instincts are telling him, well, seven OK, I've, I made this play to seven, be in this position. Seven, However, I feel like he's got a really right. strong hand seven, here. Six, and let's be realistic. Four. How many hands crush Ivy's hand? Aces and kings. Seven, They're the only nine. hands, right? Ivy really taking his time. This is why he's so good. He's got a monster of a hand, and he's almost thrown his hand in the muck already. He's, his instinct is telling him, don't call, you're beat. It's not like you can look over at uh, Isaac and get a read from him. The guy's looking, staring down at, at, at his cards, motionless. It's almost refreshing to see that instinct plays still such a big part in a game that has kind of been a little bit dominated by mathematics of recent times. But you see right here, this is instinct. There's nothing else here. Maths can only take you so far in this game. The rest has to be your instinct. And instinct only comes from experience. This would be a pretty huge fold, even for uh, Phil Ivey. Not that we uh, doubt his skill, but... I'll be very <sighs> impressed if he folds this. This is very, very impressive. Even the fact that he's taken so long. My chips would have been in there a long time ago, to be honest. Seven, six, so... Seven, he's picked up on something that obviously I can't through the camera. Just when you thought that Phil Ivey had seen every situation, he doesn't. He... He figures it out as he goes along. That's what makes him so such a good player. And he's going to make the call. So, in the end, what a what? Yeah, he's he's going. He's probably not going to be surprised. He let the math override the instinct. Well, Ivy, still as you can see by our percentages, a 34% chance to catch up. He oh yeah, he he knows he should have folded, but you know this is the thing. You can make the wrong move at the right time. So Phil Ivey can get lucky here and yeah. knock Haxton out. So it's not that bad a call, I guess. The, well, I don't know. No, no one can fault anything that he's done here. He's got ace-king of hearts, suited ace-king. He only is in death trouble to pair of aces. Every other hand in the deck, he's at least got 30%. Oh, wow. The flop is, has an ace. So Phil Ivey strikes gold. And look at Haxton. It's like almost like he's saying without saying, I, I, I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. Yeah. And what do you do? He's he's actually drawing to one out now because uh, Ivy's got the other king. Oh, and now he's drawing dead. Well, Phil Ivy says, wow, Ike Haxton to his feet. What a, what a hand. I mean, really, Ike Haxton 